Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today we are doing a little impromptu video all about covering your plants when it gets cold. Typically here in my zone 8B, we don't get frost or freezes until at the very earliest mid-November to late November. But right now, November 1st, we had a very, very, very cold night last night. Temperatures got down into the 30, 31 range, and we were supposed to have a frost. And when that happens, anything that's an annual, anything that blooms um, that is not cold hardy, you can lose all your blooms, you can lose your plants for the year. That's the whole, I mean, that's how annuals work. So while there's lots of videos out there on covering your plants, uh, this is not a new concept. My entire front yard looks like a big ghost party. Maybe that's fitting for Halloween. Um, the main concept is you want to cover those plants that are things like annuals or things like hydrangeas that bloom on old wood. Otherwise you may lose all your buds for the next year. My hydrangeas are still actually putting on buds for this year. So I don't want to lose the blooms that I'm hopefully going to get before the end of November. So we're going to go around. I'm just going to show you real quick things like this. Mom that we just planted still has all these buds. So if we let him get hit by a cold frost, um, the flowers aren't going to necessarily go anywhere, but none of these buds would open. So we're just going to cover him with a sheet. Luckily it's not very windy out right now. Um, so, all I did was I kind of touched the edges under my irrigation hoses and that will hold it down. If it's very, very, very windy, you might need to actually put some bricks or rocks down to hold your sheets down. But I'm gonna go ahead, uncover all my annuals and uh, I'll, I'll put a little list up of what I covered. Of course, there's probably other things like I didn't cover my sweet alyssum and I probably could have, but at some point, you kind of run out of blankets and I'll give you some other options. But since this frost slash freeze was a uh, not as planned, I wasn't ready for it. I usually have all my blankets out on the porch ready to go in the colder months. I had to pull these out for the first time this season. So we did as many uh, blankets as we could reach on short notice. Let's get started. So in addition to lightweight blankets, sheets are always a good option. I especially like fitted sheets for this because you can kind of tuck it around your plants even better. You can see this pretty mom that still has lots of blooming to do, survived just fine. But here's an ornamental cabbage and all I did was put an upturned bucket over him. These are great, so much easier than the sheets. Now. While this bucket did work, I really need to drill a little hole in the rim to make him work even better because there's no opening. To pop a garden steak, which is the best way to keep these babies down and in place, I even was able to use one garden steak for both of these ornamental cabbages to keep them nice and safe all through the night. Can see that the flat sheets definitely come off a little more and uh, go flying. Luckily, like I said, it wasn't a lot of a lot of wind last night. <sighs> Gotta get all my buckets together. Of course, just because something is a perennial doesn't mean we want to necessarily leave it uncovered. All these blooms on our hydrangea, if left uncovered, would die. Same with the lantana. Even though they will come back for next year, it's still very early in the season. Don't necessarily want to 
forsake all these blooms this year. And like I said, for our hydrangeas, a lot of them set buds on old wood. So while I will stop covering the lantana sometime around mid-November, I will continue to cover my hydrangeas all the way through winter to next spring, anytime we get a frost or freeze to protect those buds. <laughs> and mums all look safe. I did not cover my watermelon vines because they were pretty much done. Anything that wasn't done is now. So I'll go harvest the two watermelons that look ready and enjoy them for the rest of the week. I hate folding blankets. One last tip. If like me, you are cut unaware, unsuspecting of an early, early, early frost or freeze, when you're not prepared yet, you are out of big sheets to cover your big plants or little buckets and garden stakes to cover your little plants. Pillowcases will work in a pinch. They are much harder to put on, pain in the rear, but for times like this, we're just not ready to lose blooms yet. They will help protect your plants. The pintas are still pentaine. The bees are still being. <laughs> As you can see with hydrangeas like this one, that do bloom on old wood and the leaves have already started to go for the season, all of those buds for next year are still green and beautiful. That's what we're trying to protect. You also always, always, always need to make sure to turn off your water, leave it on a drip and disconnect your hoses. Much as no one wants to lose a plant, especially a hydrangea, busting a water pipe would be worse this would be. So I hope this little mini video helped you in some way. Your yard looks like a ghost, but so does everyone else's. So who cares? I am going to go ahead, fold all my sheets and go back inside. We'll see y'all in the next video.